Optimal Dynamics has two main targets. One is about solvency, one is about profitability. Profitability is defined in terms of our group IFRS accounts, and we target uh, profitability of 1,000 basis points above risk-free. Solvency is defined in terms of our group internal model, and we target a solvency ratio of between 185 to 220%. The solvency ratio is the ratio of our available to our required capital. So it describes the balance between our ability to cover large loss events and the capital we need to hold against this. The internal model includes the entire risk profile of the company. It measures the amount of capital you need to hold in order to cover loss events of a defined magnitude or a defined probability and under solvency two. This probability is usually the one in 200 year event over one year time horizon. And this is how we measure our capital requirement. A too high solvency ratio means that you hold too much capital for the amount of risk you are keeping. And that will lead to reduced profitability because the capital you hold has to be served by the profits you are making. So it will depress your profitability. Conversely, to sol low solvency ratio means your capital resources may not act adequately cover your risk profile and you're not providing the level of solvency to your clients and other stakeholders which may be necessary for the type of business you're writing. We've defined a number of different solvency ranges which describe how well the company is capitalized and how close it is to the optimal solvency range, which is between 185% and 220% of our required capital. Below and above, we've defined different ranges of solvency, which are not optimal and which would trigger various kinds of management action, which should bring the solvency back into the optimal range, which we have defined as part of the strategic plan, Optimal Dynamics. In a situation of very severe events causing the group solvency ratio to fall materially, SCORE's management would take several actions to bring it back inside the optimal range. These management actions are defined within SCORE's very strong ERM framework and include, among others, scaling down of the assumed business, optimizing retrocession and risk transfer mechanisms like ILS, reducing risk on the asset portfolio, and issuing hybrid debt. Each of those actions would be evaluated by SCORE's management team in the best interest of SCORE's shareholders. Let's suppose, for example, that in one year, the 1999 Lothar Martin storm, the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, and a mid-sized US hurricane occur. One should note that the probability of the combination of those events in one year is extremely remote. Assume that the solvency ratio of the group at the beginning of the year is 200% and that the combination of those extreme shock events leads to a loss for score of 2.1 billion euros before any risk transfer mechanisms. Score's solvency ratio would fall to 150% at the edge of the suboptimal range. Thanks to SCORE's robust capital shield strategy, retrocession would kick in automatically and help to restore our solvency position. The recovery we would get in such an extreme situation would be slightly above 1 billion euros, which would mean that our solvency would be brought back into the comfort range. By the end of the year, the group's solvency ratio would have slightly improved through economic value creation, but would still not be in the optimal range. As mentioned earlier, among the available management actions, we could consider purchasing additional retrocession or other risk mitigation instruments, as well as a small hybrid debt issuance. This would give us the opportunity to improve our solvency ratio and at the same time to free up capital to write business in a rapidly hardening market while remaining close to our debt leverage ceiling. Therefore, at the January renewals following this extreme combination of events, 
scores management would have brought back the solvency ratio into the optimal range while ensuring that score can benefit from price increases at the renewals. As this extremely remote scenario demonstrates, SCORE is ready to face large unexpected shocks. Thanks to its strong solvency position, its effective capital shield strategy, and the set of management actions it has defined in order to restore the solvency position in the best interest of its shareholders.